Good morning everyone, my name is Dr. Ahmad Ghia Abdul Wahab. I'm a Diagnostic and Interventional Radiologist in the, in the Department of Radiology at Resgari Teaching Hospital. Today we are going to talk about the different types of lobar pneumonia. First of all, let's uh, decide or identify what do we mean by pneumonia. Pneumonia is an area of the lung that is devoid or has no air. Alveoli are filled with things other than air like fluid inflammatory debris cells uh, proteinaceous materials whatever anyway filled with anything other than air the difference between mnemonic consolidation and uh, mnemonic collapse is that in the collapse the airways are occluded the uh, bronchi and the bronchioles that supplies air to the lobe or to the lung segment is occluded so this will result in resorption of the air with loss of volume resulting in lower collapse while in consolidation the alveoli are filled with secretions or cells while the airways are still open still patent contains air and this will result in opacification of the lobe but not loss of volume so there is a difference between consolidation and collapse. Consolidation has no volume loss while collapse has volume loss. Consolidation, the airways are patent and while in collapse, the airways are uh, occluded or involved. For example, you can see here, these are the normal alveoli. It contains air and in the abnormal or infected or mnemonic uh, alveoli, uh, the alveoli are filled with secretions. So, each lobe of the lung has its own radiologic appearance and from that appearance we can decide which lobe is involved for example in this case you can see this part of the lung is normally aerated this part of the lung is normally aerated it's black while this part of the lung here it is not aerated it is white it looks the same as the adjacent soft tissues like the liver and the heart so what part of the lung is in this region we have two lobes that are superimposed over each other in this in the lower zone of the right hemithorax these are the right middle lung lobe and the right lower lung lobe so which one of them is involved here we can easily appreciate that first by seeing this well-defined linear upper border border uh, this indicates the transverse lobe, trans, uh, the transverse fissure, sorry, this indicates the transverse fissure, and the transverse fissure is uh, the upper border of the middle lung lobe, of the right middle lung lobe, first. Second, there is something called the silhouette sign. That means when two isodense objects, like the consolidated lobe and the heart, or the consolidated lobe and the diaphragm, when they obliterate each other when you cannot see the border between them this means that these two structures are in contact what does that mean for example here you can see this is the diaphragm and the heart where is the border of the diaphragm i think it is quite obviously seen here as a well-defined outline this is the diaphragmatic border and this indicates that the lobe is not in contact with the diaphragm while where is the cardiac outline here it is not seen this indicates it is silhouetted silhouetted means the lobe affected lobe and the heart are in contact so which lobe is in contact with the right side of the heart and not in contact with the right hemidiaphragm that's the middle lobe so the middle lobe silhouettes the right side of the heart not silhouette the right hemidiaphragm and on the lateral view, you can easily appreciate that this is the middle lobe between the transverse fissure superiorly and the oblique fissure inferiorly. This is the lower lung lobe and this is the upper lung lobe. The right middle lobe is dense, indicating it is collapsed. Uh, sorry, it is consolidated. No signs of volume loss seen. It is still in its place, indicating it's consolidation, not a collapse. Another example here, you can see, obviously, the transverse fissure is quite obviously seen and on the lateral view you can 
appreciate between it is located between the uh, here we have another uh, kind of consolidation if you look carefully you can see there is a fissure okay but what's the difference here the difference is that the right side of the heart is quite obviously seen while the diaphragm is not obviously seen the this is the normal diaphragm the left normal diaphragm while here you cannot obviously differentiate between the consolidated lobe and the diaphragm while you can easily appreciate between the consolidated lobe and the right heart border and this indicates that this lobe is in contact with the diaphragm and which lobe is in contact with the diaphragm and not in contact with the heart that's the right lower lung lobe you can easily appreciate it here this is the console uh, the consolidated lobe it is the right lower lung lobe another type of lower consolidation is the right upper lung lobe you can see this is a transverse fissure okay and the area above the transverse fissure is white consolidated no air here this indicates the right upper lung lobe consolidation however if you look carefully you can see this is a transverse fissure is pulled upward it is elevated upward okay it is deviated to the upper aspect of the lung and this indicates there are signs of volume loss so it's a consolidation transforming into collapse and if you look within the consolidated lobe you can see these airways they are patent and contain air and this is uh, term this is uh, called air bronchogram when the lung is white and the airway is still patent it contains what's called air bronchogram you can see them as black lines another example of lower consolidation the transverse fissure is pulled upward the right upper lung zone is white it contains some small thin lines indicating air bronchogram and this is uh, these are the features of right upper lobe consolidation collapse it is consolidated and it is transforming into a collapsed lobe another example i think by now it's quite obvious you can see this is a transverse fissure with a consolidated right upper lung lobe okay and the difference that here the transverse the transverse fissure is horizontal it is not pulled upward that indicates this is a consolidation not a collapse there is no signs of there are no signs of volume loss in the lateral view it's quite obvious this is the oblique fissure this is the transverse fissure and everything above them is opaque again another example of right upper lobe collapse uh, sorry right upper lobe consolidation the transverse fissure is horizontal indicating no signs of volume loss it is pure right upper lobe consolidation now let's see something else what's going on here you can see this is the right lung the right heart border is quite obvious the right hemidiaphragm is quite obvious the upper lung zone is clear indicating normal right lung while on the left side there is something opaque here okay this something is silhouetting the left heart border you cannot see the left heart border and this indicates that this something is in contact with the left heart border while it is not silhouetting the left hemidiaphragm you can see the left hemidiaphragm here okay but you cannot see the left heart border and that indicates that the left upper lung lobe is consolidated okay sometimes just sometimes only the lingula of the left upper lobe uh, consolidate and this will result in loss of the sharpness of the left heart border so if the left heart border is not very sharp and not very well seen think about lingula consolidation another example back again to the right upper lobe consolidation you can see the transverse fissure obvious and increased opacity in the right upper lung zone now what's going on here can you guess there is an opacification of the right lower lung zone and what do we have here how many lobes you have two lobes the middle and the lower lung lobe the middle silhouettes the heart not the diaphragm 
while the lower lobe silhouettes the diaphragm not the heart so can you see the diaphragm no can you see the heart yes this indicates a right lower lobe consolidation another example you can see the right heart border you cannot see the right hemidiaphragm this indicates a right lower lobe consolidation the right hemidiaphragm is silhouetted the right side or the right border of the heart is not silhouetted few more examples what do you think is going on here i think it's quite obvious the right hemidiaphragm is not seen the right cardiac border is obvious and this indicates a right lower lobe consolidation another example here here it's a little bit difficult one thing difficult one the left lower lobe the left lower lobe when it collapses when it loses volume it becomes this triangular opacity the left lower lung lobe when it collapses it loses volume it becomes a triangular opacity behind the cardiac shadow and how can you know that first you have the clinical history and the signs and symptoms suggesting pneumonia or pneumonic consolidation of some sort second if you look carefully you can see a triangular opacity situated posterior to the heart okay silhouetting some of the diaphragm not necessarily all the diaphragm and if you compare both sides of the lungs you can see the left upper lung lobe is hyperinflated it is lucent it is more black compared to the right side and it is less vascular because there is compensatory hyperinflation the, it inflates to compensate for the volume loss what's going on here everything looks quite good except some increased opacity here in the left lower lung zone associated with loss of sharpness of the right, of the left cardiac border this indicates lingual pneumonia as we said previously another example here where is it is it in the lower lung lobe in the left lower or left upper lung lobe very easily you can appreciate that by seeing the left heart border is not very well seen while the diaphragm is very well seen this indicates left upper lung lobe consolidation more specifically the lingula and the adjacent segments now what's going on here is it the left upper left lower lung lobe or something else if you look carefully you can see the left side of the cardiac silhouette is not seen so the lesion is silhouetting the left heart border while the left hemidiaphragm is obviously seen and you can appreciate any bronchograms these are bronchi filled with air in the left lung zone so this indicates left upper lobe consolidation the left lower lobe is not affected it is normally aerated as and this can be seen by of appreciating the very sharp left diaphragmatic border so this was all what we have today for the lower consolidation and collapse of the lung uh, if you have any topics or any specific things that you would like us to talk about and to discuss please write your uh, remarks and your notes and your requests in the comments and I uh, will try to talk about them in the few coming episodes. Thank you very much. See you later.